Good morning, it's day four of ISE 2016 and you're back with How to AV over at the Rye in Amsterdam. We're joined by Boaz, who's traveled all the way from Uganda to see all of the incredible products that ISE has to offer. Boaz, thanks for joining us. Thank you as well. I know you've been uh, one of our greatest fans and given us some fantastic feedback uh, online. So tell us, why is How to AV useful to you, do you think? Um, in East Africa and in Africa, the knowledge about how to AV or AV is not really there. And we do a lot of training for the system integrators and the public for free. And one of the things we use is how to AV. And beyond the training is we actually recommend people, please watch the channel, subscribe to the channel, uh, just that button down, um, and, and really get all the things in terms of technology about how to AV. Oh, you're my biggest, my biggest advert, Boaz, first of all. So tell us about uh, training availability over in Africa and, and technology skills. In the AV, I don't think there's any beside us, uh, but we're actually approaching schools and universities to try and introduce this. Again, we try and do it for free for them uh, because it is a gap. And only once people will understand the technology and the industry, the industry will grow. So we understand that and this is what we're going to do and doing actually for the last uh, almost four years now and with good success rate. I think in a few years to come we will be somewhere far ahead. And, you, and we were talking earlier on about there's been a real shift change in how we need to be selling AV products. We're, we're no longer selling products, we're selling sound. So what, why do you think that is? What, what, why do we need that change in the market? Ah, that's a big argument I had with most of the manufacturers. Um, the consumers five, ten years ago will buy a car, don't care the engine, don't care anything. Today everyone who buy a phone knows if it's Android or iOS or Windows phone. Today people want to know what's under the hood. And if you're not going to tell them what's under the hood, they're not going to buy. So brand itself does not sell, a product itself does not sell. You need the extra value. People need to understand what's there, why is it important. They really want to know more, the features, the benefits. Um, the world has changed. Social media brought a lot, the internet brought a lot. Our kids, they are much more smarter and knowledgeable than us. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. I really fear that uh, my girls will one day outdate me and tell me, Dad, you don't know anything. So the world has changed by all means. And who do you think the responsibility lies with to educate the market? And, and who is it who needs educating it? Is, it? is it us as the integrators? Is it the end users? Or is it something for everybody? I think it's for everyone, but I would take the responsibilities on the manufacturers, those who bring innovation. It's worthless to have a new product and a new innovation and nobody knows about it. Uh, and you don't pass it on social media, on YouTube today, on Facebook, on Twitter. What's the use? Who will know about it? The world is there. So what, what you guys are doing is really awesome. And there's been a fantastic shift change just in exhibitions like this from just being stands with products to so many training theatres as well. Have you seen any of the training over at ISC? Uh, yes, I've seen a few. Very insightful. Um, even some of the people I came with really, really enjoyed it. Um, one of the things, for example, with Epson, um, they don't train about products. They train about um, the colour in-depth, how to identify different projectors, how do you read the, the specs? So this is what we need to have. People not necessarily to, to market the product, but tell us how the technology works. How do we compare apples to apples if it's apples to apples? Yeah. And what about the show then? You've been here all four days. You've traveled a long way to get here. So four days is, is it's not even going to be enough for a show this size. But, but what's excited you technology-wise this year, Boaz? Um, I think two things. Um, to see that everyone are going to collaboration, unified communication and AV meeting IT. Um, it was, until a few years ago, two different niches, and we're trying to teach the IT about the AV, but right now they're trying to marry each other and work together. So it's very interesting if it's from Dante, if it's from Krama, if it's from AVB, all sorts of technologies that yet you have to do videos about and tell us about, um, but that's where we are going to. Boaz, you're always positive, you're always inspiring, we're always in touch online, Big fan of how to AV. TV. Yep. Love to hear from you. Keep sending us new ideas and, and we'll be in touch and we'll probably see you again here next year. Definitely. Please join Boaz, join us on how to AV. TV in the future and we look forward to hearing all your ideas as to where we go next. Thanks for watching.